I feel worthless and you're too afraid to say so When I turn her full and you change your point of view
breathless and you're too afraid to say so When I turn a head full and you change your point of view Hello. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. Listen, you see how I'm already starting off scuffed because I almost spoke into this mic while it was still muted. But welcome in, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Warrior, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. It's the perfect time to give an introduction to myself. So if this, this is your first time here, hi, I'm Blaze at Midnight, your casual dragon queen VTuber here on Twitch, and we are playing Baladins. It's a wonderful TTRPG inspired game. Um, it kind of gives like Paper Mario vibes. Um, with like how the characters look and like how the overall world looks and it's just honestly an exciting game if you're curious about picking up this game yourself or wanting to learn more about the game um, in hindsight you can do exclamation mark indie I didn't test the command so I hope it <laughs> I hope it actually works and post the link okay <laughs> yes it points to the uh, the steam steam page so welcome in hello Shadix. welcome in how are you but yeah, we get to check out this game thanks to the lovely, lovely folks at Seed by Seed and Armored Games Studios. They sent over a key, so I get to I get to check it out. So I'm very excited. And also, those coming in from Warriors Raid, if you need to raid and dip, including yourself, Warrior, because I saw you go early and I was trying to peek in while I was at the hair salon, <laughs> and I couldn't do that. So I hope stream went well. What were you playing, by the way? I think I saw you playing Elden Ring earlier. I don't know what else you were playing if you switched over to a different game or if you're still here. But yes, please do some stream aftercare because um, I know how it is to be streaming for long periods of time and you haven't eaten, you haven't rested your eyeballs, all that stuff. So do the thing. But those of y'all who want to get a sneak peek as to some of the things that I do here on the channel, I do have a raid video I'd like to play for you all. So enjoy. Also, hi Jazzy, hi Lion. My path is the only path I can take. Y'all know it's chosen. There ain't no easy road. Gotta create. It's not given. I'm just living. I'm just living. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. 
shaking up your feet. Hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch where you're going. Hold the drive. Let the downside up the top notch. What I'm here to do. Hot top that. Do it like this. Do it like that. Do it like how it did. But now I do it like what? Feed your artist. Well, that's determination. I just imagine things that happen. Set the ass laughing. You go there. Please gotta keep asking. Losers terribly empty facto. What you don't possess, it's not in stores. I work my ass while you win a bad store. Turning dust to gold, hardcore. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Shake it up the seat, hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch where you're going, hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Shake it up the seat, hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch where you're going, hold the drive. But yeah, that's a little bit about me. Alright, let's get started and see what Baladins is all about. Alright. I've already adjusted the settings uh, in terms of audio. I don't know if there's anything else that I need to adjust uh, from what I took a peek at. Yeah, that's fine. All, th all of this is fine. But if the if the audio gets to be a little bit overbearing over my voice, please let me know. I can change that. I'll do my best to anyway. But because it was blaringly loud before I came in here and talking it down just a bit. But if all seems good, let's go ahead and get started. Oh look! We get to pick a character. Okay, cool. So we got Bard. Pyro. Oh, I'm already sold by the pyro. It's not like I'm biased because I'm a dragon and love flames. No, not that at all. Oh, we got the cook. Okay, okay. Oh, we got a dancer. I love. Luxomancer. Oh, hold up. They got, they have so many things. So many options. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, now we're back at the bard again. And you can see like their stats too. I don't know what the symbols mean um up front so but that's okay i'm assuming like strength i don't i can't infer what the mask may mean book may be intelligence or something to that degree but you know what it's, it's okay because we'll find out muliak okay what are you guys feeling i'm gonna let you guys choose should we be the bard? Should we be the pyro? Should we be the cook? Should we be the dancer? The luxomancer? I like that name. <laughs> or back at the bard again. Pyro, you're choosing pyro? We could be pyro. I'm down to be the pyro. And I like the fact that you can actually invite friends to, uh, to play with you too. So it is co-op. Look how mom Minotaur Dancer love the design. I know the design's so cute. My dear Belladins, these last two months of leisure were quite invigorating, but holidays are over now. The Peace Festival is in six weeks, and we're far from ready. We still have work to do and make uh, to make the celebration of the century truly perfect. Coco Pyro, bet awesome, good. I picked I picked the right choice. People count on our guild to make it happen, whatever the cost. So I put my trust in you with this great quest. Deliver this crate to the next village. Yeah, that's it. You obtained a crate. Oh God, that's heavy as fuck. All right then. <laughs> I was not expecting that crate to be so large. You know what? I you know what? I know a crate is is pr pretty much large, but it's just like I didn't know they were gonna be so so uh so actual with it like realistic with it actually one more thing we still haven't received the wine for the festival could you check out winemaker's castle and get the wine we need uh, sure i mean i'm down for to get some wine and definitely gonna get this game it's so cute 
Like, I'm excited. I've never played this game. I, I remember seeing, like, the promos for it. And so I was already excited to, like, check out this game or, like, watch somebody play it. And then, like, they came through and was just like, hey, you want to play this game? Here's a key. <laughs> like, yes! 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 I would love to play this game. Please send it my way. But yeah, you played this game with a friend. You think it was uh, the demo? Oh, nice! It's fun. Would recommend? Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. That's why I was just like, I'm, I'm excited to play today because I get to check out this game and, and see what it's about. Because I really love the aesthetics so far. Something must have upset the winemakers again. Are you ready, Baladins? We're ready. <gasps> we can roar. Show some muscle. I, 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 you know what? I just, you know, because I'm a whole dragon. I got to roar. I'm sorry. I have to be on brand. Roar. But you chose without even knowing what you were doing. It said roar. I picked what seemed appealing and very on brand for my species. This is a choice, and choices often test your characteristics as well as your luck. This is a role-playing game, after all. You right, you right. That's right. I'm supposed to, you know, get in the character and play the character that I'm supposed to be in a TTRPG. Oh, there go the dice. Oh, we rolled a nine. All right, cool. What does that mean? You rolled three six-sided dice. Okay, we rolled three d6s, bet. And the result is added to your characteristic value to beat a difficulty threshold. You rolled a nine. Plus eight, destruction. So can I, like, destroy this whole area with my voice? Is this what we're saying? I'm down for that. There are several difficulty thresholds. Some actions are easier than others. The easiest difficulty threshold is uh, eight strength and medium one is 11 and the hardest is 18. Okay, all right, cool. Easier to beat the difficulty threshold with a higher characteristic value. Oh, and when you're with when you're with friends, your characteristics values add up. Union makes strength. Oh, okay. All right, cool. You roar like a troop of lions. Beautiful. All right, I'll be here if you need help. Be safe on your journey, dear Baladins. Well, it's not like anything dangerous ever happens anyway. Okay, let's hit the road. Moving from one token to the next costs one movement point, or MP. All right, I got you. Fortunately, you have enough to reach your destination over here, over there this time. To move, simply select your token of choice. Oh, look at this little area. Look at this map. It's so cute. It's so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. Validate your destinations with the move button. All right. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm trying to like zoom in. <laughs> into things. Look at the bees! This is so cute. I know, I know. Hang on, I'm, I'm like looking at the board. I'm being nosy. Oh my God, they got goats. This is so adorable. They got the chickens! Hello chickens. Hi. I hear a door opening. Is somebody opening a door? They got the town. They got like a little carnival area. Okay, okay. They got a real, <gasps> yo, there's somebody in the, who is this? Who are they? What is this? Oh, it's a frog. It's froggies. Look at the babies. All right, what's this? They got a bird. Wait, wait, wait. Who is this? <gasps> they got bats. Okay, I don't know what this is in the sea over here, down there. But I love the little bat. The bat is cute, that's adorable. Cork forest, okay. I really love like the aesthetics of this map. It's so cute. Hidden cave? There go the bats again. I'm, I'm really just being nosy, so bear with me, y'all. I'm just, I'm trying to look at like, like everything. Oh, they got a whole vineyard back here. This is where Diluc stays. 
That's Dialect's house. It's the whole winery. Mm. More froggies! Alright, cool. Wait, what's this? They got a little tiny mouse! Oh my gosh! You might have to see about this game. Oh, listen, I'm just exploring. This is why I have to, like, look for y'all. Because I'm like, mm, I gotta look at all the things. Okay, so move here. Can we, like... I guess we can't check out over there. It's why we can't go to the bees, but, you know, I'm not gonna question it. Enter. Definitely Paper Mario vibes, but you love the D&D. &D. Yeah, that's what I get from it. Um, savvy. It's just like, it's a nice little, little TTRPG, Paper Mario-like game, so. So, Feline, who's this? Hi. How are you? Let's chat. Hello, Baladins. I was waiting for you. Did you bring the crate? I did. There's still so many things to do. Yes, I suppose we have to give. I mean, it's not like we can do anything else. Science-wise. Not yet, anyway. To give something to someone, simply select the item you want them to have. All right, cool. Passive effect, movement points. Ne oh, cause it's, oh, that's nice. They actually incorporate like weight into the game with, uh, with certain items. Cool. Heavy crates full of wares for the peace festival. A label says delivered to Sophaline in Mulak. And change your mind and get it back. By selecting it again. Until you press confirm button, that is. Okay. So I can be like, nah, this is mine. But then be like, yes, this is yours. But be like, be like, no, this is mine. <laughs> but be like, yes, this is yours. All right, I'll give it to them. <laughs> what if I just gave them, like, nothing? I should have tested that. Dang, it's too late now. What? What's going on? Oh, I don't know. I just... Oh. All right then. Hi Pyro, we're you, we're playing as you. <laughs> what have you done? Oh my God, this is terrible. We can't have the festival with the guys in the middle of the town. I didn't do anything. I just got here. I just handed you a crate. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Think, think, think. No, breathe, breathe, breathe. Paladins, it's our fault. I think we need to find a way to fix it. I know. Bungus, the cork maker, might be able to help. They grow cork mushrooms that are being used as wine caps. Maybe they can grow a big one. Oh, good point. Go northwest from here and check uh, the cork forest to find them. And here, take this. This might be helpful. What you give me? Truce juice. Hmm. I have a feeling this may come into play very relatively soon. I'll uh, be uh, watching the geyser here. Check if anything goes wrong or worse. Oh boy. So Felina's ideal is great, but you're all out of MP. How do I replenish it? Don't worry. There are plenty of things to do in Muliak to prepare for your journey. This is where your action points will come into handy. Well, how do I refill on those though? Make sure to keep an eye on them since each action costs a point. First tab is where you can meet the people staying in this place. Okay. The second is the practices tab. Okay. And the last one is for challenges. All right. Use your time in Muliak to explore these options. And I'll tell you more along the way. Okay. Practicing something will guarantee that you upgrade one characteristic by one point. Oh, okay. For example, here in Muliak, you can upgrade your creation skills by cooking or your finesse. Okay, so light bulb is creation. The mask is finesse. Makes sense. By observing the merchants. Okay. So... Our creation is at zero. So I feel like cooking would be beneficial. And at least we have a little bit for uh, our finesse skill. So let's try to let's try to boost the, the cooking mechanic. 
I don't mind. You spend the night cooking for the guests in the tavern. You earned your wage. You gain one gold. One gold? Just to cook for folks? One gold. One gold. You gave me a penny to cook for other people. Imagine going in, working for like several hours, and they said, here you go. <laughs> you earned your keep. Here's a penny. You gain one plus one creation. I'd be so mad I wouldn't come back. Challenges. Test your characteristics with a dice roll, okay? The outcome is uncertain, but the reward is greater and sometimes unexpected. Here, you'll have to prove your finesse in a card game to gain your reward. Okay. Smart your opponent to gain some coin. Ooh. Ooh, but it's 11 finesse. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want to do all that. Not yet. Not quite. This just seems like pain. You spend the day at the market and observe the merchants. You learn some useful tricks. You gain plus one finesse. Beautiful. All right. I'm gonna speak to Sophaline. How's it going, Baladin? Have you found a workaround yet? I'm terribly worried. The festival can't take place like this. Try blocking the water with your hands. <laughs> Can I do this? Can I honestly do this? I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it and see what happens. Try to get close to the geyser. But the pressure is too powerful and you're thrown up into the air. It's hopeless. We need to find another way to stop it. All right, well, I'll, I'll leave. When you're out of AP and MP, it's time to end your turn, all right? You can also do it at the moment, at any moment from the board if you want to. Okay, so why is in turn? What's the, uh, what is this? This is your, oh, they have a character sheet built in. You can find all your characteristics here, as well as every item you carry. Oh, okay. Select one to have more details. Sometimes you'll also find items that don't affect you when you carry them. I get plus three finesse when consumed. Beautiful. Strictly forbidden during chess tournaments. Okay. But consuming them might have an effect on you. Always well, good to keep a snack or two to help you help you handle a tricky situation. Consume an item. Simply press a uh, select it in this window. Effects gained when consuming it will last will last until the end of your turn. Okay, cool. I wanna. I thought we could like look at like our uh, our action points and everything else. I know it's just like a number, but it's just like I'm glad that they have this here so I can know what every symbol means um, on the overall UI. So you got gold, destruction, creation. Damn, we we born to destroy. <laughs> they know me so well. Creation, knowledge. Okay, finesse, physique. Movement points, action points. <clears throat> Here's your quest log. Also, King Crow, welcome in. How's your day treating you so far? You love seeing this with uh, D and D games. You get so curious. Yes, it's very helpful. And I like the fact that they stick to the uh, the the uh, formula that is like a D&D TTRPG type of uh, game. That's how you know a lot of love and research was put into this. Here's your quest log. Oh, it will be updated every time a quest progresses to remind you of the next steps to take. Okay. Spirit of the Mulak. Ask Tomaline for wine. She lives in her castle east of Mulak. Okay, the cork maker. As Bung is the cork maker to make a giant cork for the well. They live in the cork forest west of Mulak. Okay. Hidden ending. Oh, oh. Learn about the cork maker and the cork forest. I like the hidden uh, outcomes. Supplies for the peace festival. 
Bring crate to something. You delivered the crate. But the guys are appeared in the middle of the town. The animation is very Mario. No, I almost said Mario part. That's not it. Paper Mario esque as well, which I really find um, pretty charming. Because Paper Mario is one of my favorite uh, series. Speaking of which, I know we play in Baladins, but. Don't forget, uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door is now out now. So if you have never played that wonderful game, you should definitely check it out. I am not sponsored by Nintendo or, you know, the like to say this, but highly recommend the game. I've already served my time with playing that game on the GameCube, so I'm pro I'm promoting y'all to go check it out if you've never played a Mario a Paper Mario game in your life. That's a good one. Gatherick is a vast land with many different places to visit. Having a map will make it easier for you to navigate around it. But you have to discover a region before it appears on your map. Okay. Oh, and when your friends are far away from you, you can use the map to summon or join them. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Being convenient. Okay, hidden cave. Okay, so these are all the items that we can see from, like, the current region that we're in. Beautiful. And then there's the settings. Alright, cool. I just wanted to see what this, this did. So, let's go ahead and end our turn. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. I was like, what is this? Oh, it progresses the week when you do that. I see. All right, well, cool. Okay, so we need to go to the cork forest, which is here. Like, imagine taking the long way around to get there. We won't do that. I will go the straight and narrow, even if I am tempted to just break this game. <laughs> Or like just basically go go the illogical way to get to Cork Forest. Alright, so let's go into here. Bungus, hello. Bonjour, my friend. What brings you to our humble forest? Ask about the wine caps. If I have a very big wine cap. Big enough for a geyser? I don't. But maybe nature can grow one. Go to the hidden cave north of here in the hills. You shall find some magic water in there. But be careful. You never know who's been drinking from this spring. Alright, ask about the wine caps. Oh, you've already said this. Okay. This is Cork Forest, and I'm Bungus. Here our community grows wine caps. Small cork mushrooms used to seal bottles... Used to seal bottles and casks of wine. We take care of mushrooms, but also of our body and soul. Right. And you said go where? Hidden cave. Magic water. Alright. Grow mushrooms. Pick mushrooms. So we can increase our knowledge or our creativity. And then there's the camp. Okay. Go back. Let me see. Where's the hidden cave? Alright, so we can do two moves and get up here. Which I think we will do. Sure. You're approached by a Lutton smelling surprisingly good. Good day to you, traveler. What a pleasing sight for the eyes you are. May I offer a m offer to walk with you to your destination? Uh, sure. I'll trust you for now. Splendid. I knew the teachings of Master Bungus would help me seduce people. Why you say it like that? What you mean seduce me? They have recently found an ancient scroll of love containing much wisdom about the art of seduction. Lutton spends the rest of your journey talking about their master Bungus. 
Perhaps you could visit them in the Cork Forest to learn about the ancient scroll. What? All right. That was that was something. That was definitely something. We can't move no more. Hmm. A shame. Okay, find magic water. Right. <sighs> okay, so we have to back track just a bit. It looks like. So we're on week three. Oh, can I? Oh, there we go. It's like, we should be able to just go right back here. Oh, it's a new person. Hello. Your horrible noise is ahead. It could be a terrible monster. But as you approach carefully, you realize it's only an og ogress singing cheerfully. You kind of cute, though. Tonaline? Hello there. What a beautiful day. I'm Tonaline. Verdiga, winemaker and matriarch of the castle. But surely you know me already. Would you like to sing with me? Sing with her? Ask her why? Ask her why. Ask the ogress what she seems, uh, what she seems so happy about. <laughs> You're nosy, but I like it. I just want to know for science. I just delivered wine to Philomena, the innkeeper. I don't know why, but I'm always happy to see her. She's merely human, but she can drink gallons of any beverage. It's impressive. Surely there must be some kind of magic behind all that, but it's part of her charm. Pay her a visit in Mulak if you want to meet a beautiful, kind person. Or need to get rid of an outstanding amount of liquid. So where are we going now? Ask Philomena to drink the geyser. Where is she? I still need to meet, what's his name, in the cork forest. There's Bungus, okay. Bonjour, my friend. What brings you to our humble forest? Uh, ask for, ugh. I suppose. Love advice? Am I starting to garner a reputation? I have indeed found a very enlightening scroll about love. I've learned some theory, but something's not quite right with me. I think my inner balance is off. You know what? Bring me something truly cleansing. A pure and noble food for my body and soul. Nothing less than royal jelly, directly from the hive. And I will give you the scroll as a reward. Oh, I see where we have to go. Which means we have to go all the way back home, get that jelly from, I'm guessing, the hives that were like from square one and go from there. All right, so leave. Cause I'm guessing that's where we need to go. Yeah, they asked for royal jelly. We should theoretically be able to go back here. It's a long way home. Hmm. Hmm. You got this game on your wish list. So excited to see you play it. Well, welcome through, Flame and Goals. I'm excited to try it. You haven't missed too much. We're on several quests already. Just like me to rack up on quests. <laughs> I am notorious for picking up side quests. All right, so we need to find something for Bungus, which is the royal jelly. As for Mil... Phil Philomena to drink the geyser. Cave. And then that. Okay. Alright, well, cool. Let's see if we can go back. Because I have a feeling I know where we need to be. I know where we need to be. Where the people are. Oh! Philomena's here! I bet just for science <laughs> and I can talk to them beautiful 
Hello, traveler. Welcome to Mulak. May I help you? Ask about drinking the geyser. Me? Drink all that water from the geyser? Look, I hate that reputation. I'm not mu that much of a heavy drinker. Why would I do that? It's not such a big deal. Look, what about a bet? If you can drink more than me, I'll help you. Oh, we challenging her. Oh no, what, what kind of skills do I need to have to, to be able to pull this off? It does remind you a bit of another game you have called uh, Wildermyth? I've never heard of that. What is that about? We are weak. We are weak. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we can pull this one off. Hmm. Hmm. Should we risk it for the biscuit? Or should we decline? Smart Blaze is just like decline. Science Blaze is just like risk it for the biscuit. Not for science. Not this. Y'all want me to fail. That's what you want. Philomena fills two barrels with ale. Oh, Lord. She manages to empty her barrel within a few seconds. Even an ogre would struggle drinking this much. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we did not. We came close. We came close with our two measly strength. But... We at we at fifteen, unless they yeah yeah you add it at the end. So you lift the barrel from the ground and spill gallons of ale on you yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's exactly what I I assumed would happen. So, <laughs> I assure up. Welcome in at seeing me make a fool of myself. You know we're supposed to drink it right. I know I'm weak. Just go ahead and say it with your chest. Direct contact with the ale makes you more resistant to alcohol. Oh, at least you gained that. Come back when you're in better shape. Seems that you don't quite meet the requirement for this task yet. But don't worry. You can train at different locations on the board. With better characteristics, you'll have a better chance to beat this obstacle. You can also convince a friend to join and give you a hand. Oh, really? Okay. That's good to know. All right, so we can increase our creative skill or our finessing. Go ahead and cook again. Give me more money and creation. We'll try this. I don't I don't have much faith in us succeeding, but we can try it. We spend the night playing cards in the tavern. Oh, we got a 14. Let's go. You rolled a 14 plus two finesse. Luck shines upon you, and you're quite skillful at the game. You win big and know when to stop playing. Sweet, let's go. Oh, and we got some gold. All right, cool. All right, so that's all we can do for now, and so we have to end our turn. Because we ran out of action points and move points. Beautiful. Boom, 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 boom. I would assume we can go here and like get the jelly, unless I'm just, I'm just bullshitting. Let's try it. Small rock managed to somehow slip inside your boots. You can remove it, but unlacing your boots takes forever and the night is falling. Endure the pain, rip off your shoelaces. It's a destruction for me. <laughs> Cause I know we got this in the bag, but it's the destruction for me. Go ahead and endure the pain. Let's see what happens. Ooh, we did not succeed in that. You rolled a nine. Oh wait, no, we did, we did. Cause that's 12. Brace yourself and finish your daily hike while enduring the pain. Walking with the rock in your shoe, harden your feet. Oh my god. Well, at least we gain plus four uh, physique. Alda? Try fire. Oh no. Rehearse a show. 
Y'all asking for a lot. Dealing with bees needs some finesse. We got four. Let's speak with you. Oh, dear Baldwin. How may I uh, help you in your quest? Oh. I see. Uh, you know what? Sure, ask about the place. They've just spent your entire summer here, right? Even entertainers need a home to come back to. That's why the guild built this place. It used to be an old apiary. The bees accepted the baladins as long as they took care of them. And we found out the beeswax could be used to record our songs. Okay, we'll leave. I'm assuming we get the jelly from here. So let's, let's go ahead and try. You keep, you help beekeepers with their tasks. Eight. This was finesse, so... Okay, we just barely passed it. Twelve. You rolled an eight and plus four finesse. The queen bee is so pleased with your services that she offers you... Yes! We got it! We obtained royal jelly. Beautiful. That's exactly what we needed. All right, cool. Um... We could do creative work here in the other area, but well, we'll go ahead and rehearse the show, see what happens. Rehearse a theater play for the peace festivals. It's the same one every year, but you try to offer a refreshing take on the missing you see. Gain one plus one creation, beautiful. All right, I'm not gonna try and blow up things because I don't trust myself. So we have this. Wine. We still need to do that. And we still need to do that. Okay. So let's head back to old boy. And we got one more action point, and then we have to end the week and go from there. Part of me wants to try it again, but I know I'm going to probably fail. It's the Naruto run for you. Listen, it's very on brand because Naruto is a fox. He he is Kitsune. Kitsune. And we'll cook again. Why not? It's been the night cooking for the guests in the tavern. You've earned your wage. Oh my god, not this savvy. But you're not wrong. <laughs> you're absolutely not wrong. GG's. Alright. So let's go back to the cork forest. So we can give him the royal jelly. And go about our day. Bungus! We got you stuff. Sir. Hello. Take. No. Oh. There we go. Yes. What is this, royal jelly? This is so pure, so healthy. I already feel my energies unwind in its proximity. Have a scroll of love. You deserve it, friend. You obtained a love letter. How beautiful. All right. Leave. There's nothing here for... Shrimp. All right. Oh, but this will build up our strength, okay. So let's go ahead and pick some mushrooms. You help the Lutons pick mushrooms. Working in nature gives you a better understanding of the forest. We got some knowledge. And we gained some gold. You find a mushroom you really like and decide to keep it. Sweet. All right, let's try the camp. Camping in the forest can be challenging for the body. Just at 11, you rolled a 7 plus 4 physique. You managed to find a good spot to build your tent in a warm fire. In the morning, you feel fully rested. Sweet! We're getting closer to beating... What's her name? <laughs> so that way she can't clown us no more. <laughs> Dang, that street really did die. No! What happened? Clouded! What happened? Oh, no. But yeah, if you use mobile to hop in a stream instead of PC, it'll it'll kill your streak, unfortunately. 
So if you attended the last two streams that way, Twitch is uh, Twitch is going through some stuff. So yeah, it, it for whatever reason didn't do that. Is missed the last two? No, it's all it's no worries. It happens. It really happens. But listen, you can build it back up again because you're here now. Um, I will say I won't go live tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, because I forgot. Yeah, I won't be able to go live at all tomorrow. Because um, I was going to say I was going to try to do an afternoon one, but I won't. I won't be able to. And I was going to do a co-working stream, but I already canceled it. Um, so... Friday will be the next time I stream. <laughs> um, once I hop off of here. How's your day been? Day has been very busy. I got up, went to go get my hair done earlier today, and I just got back. I'm streaming for all the way until 6. I have to do a hard stop at 6 as much as I want to do like a four-hour stream today. Um, I do have something that I need to take care of uh, pretty much immediately after stream. And then tomorrow is just going to be a very, very busy day for me. So busy week, busy day, and I'm trying to meet some deadlines that I either have set for myself or that others have asked of my assistants or so. But how's your day been? All right. So we finish. I think we finished one quest. That's why I'm making that up. So I'm going to give you a love letter. It's from Torlene to Philomena. One of them would be interested in... Oh. I see. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Good to know. I'm sorry. I'm sitting here like, hmm. We can make use of this. And be devious. Or be very well behaved. It's been all right. Your boss had us do a candy salad video. Candy salad? What is candy salad? This is a new phrase or term or item that I have not heard of before so I'm genuinely curious all right so geyser or we can go up here let's go to the hidden cave hello a gang of bandits spring out of the shadows pushing a blade oh my god why did we go this way why didn't y'all stop me <laughs> hi Joji welcome in you think it's a new TikTok trend? Interesting. Your money or your life? I have 15! No, I'm fighting. Escape. Hmm. No, I'm fighting them. I can beat your ass. You rolled a six. Plus seven destruction, yeah. You throw the blade off your throat and fight like a beast. Bang, wallop, pow, swinging your fists wildly. You bloody noses, bruised eyes, and white, white abdomens. Oof, this. <laughs> no, no, I'm catching hands and running off. Oh my god. Let's scram. The bandits flee the scene, dropping some gold in their haste. So we just took from what they robbed from somebody else and oh okay well I guess that's <laughs> I guess that's fine it's fine man I sure do love uh beating up bandits and getting my way haha -ha. <laughs> oh my god Everyone brings in unwrapped uh, non-chocolate candy that we add to the bowl and, oh. Mm. 
I don't see see in theory it sounds good if it was all just like you know skittles and just skittles but imagine if someone brought in reese's pieces skittles um what's the other round candy that people m ms Peanut M&M's. And then, like, some airheads. And then you also got, like, those, uh, what you call it? Yeah, all, 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 oh, that's right. Yeah, none chocolate. That's right. That's right. So, exclude the M&M's and Reese's Pieces. So, Skittles, Starburst, airheads. Twizzler, that's so much. My teeth are shaking just thinking about that. Gummy bear, oh lord. Mm. I'm gonna let y'all have at that. Oh, and high chews. I don't know if anybody brought any high chews, but I would probably be the person that bring in high chews. Be like, here you go. High chews, Starburst. I'm trying to think what other candies are there. So would candied yams work as well? It's non-chocolate and technically it's candy. To a degree. <laughs> Jolly Ra Oh yeah, Jolly Ranchers. You know, I just had to like test a theory. It's like, it's technically candy. Ooh, Warheads. What if somebody brought like the sour candies, like Mr. Rim's sour candy balls and put that in there? Mmm. That would be a time. Ooh. Ooh, actually, no, I take it back. What about if somebody got the zombie Skittles? I would hate that person. <gasps> Bean Boozles. There you go. Bean Boozles. <laughs> now, now it's just a cursed candy salad. <laughs> I would be the person that would do that. Oh, oh, it's it's like Bean Boozle Skittles clouded. They come out during Halloween, and um, they're usually like in a gray package. They may have changed the colors, but they have yeah. <laughs> they have some that tastes like a dead fish. One that tastes like dirt. And I can't remember what the third flavor is in those packs. But you can you can have like a regular Skittle still be in that pack or get like a Bean Boozle version of that. So you should have done the Bean Boozle. Listen, it's the way that I would have done that. But I would have let nobody know that I did that. I would have been like, no, it's just jelly beans from from the actual like you know, regular jelly beans. It's not the bean boozled type. What you think I am? Terrible? Yes. <laughs> I am terrible. Oh, all this salamander is so cute. Explore the cave. There's something strangely soothing permeating the air. You stumble upon a giant salamander. There's a magic pun right behind the beast. Oh. Um, hmm. Hmm. I really don't want to do this anymore. Can I take it back? I would like to take it back. This is going to fail. I feel like this is going to fail. There's a chance that it won't fail, but I feel like we're gonna fail. Oh no, we didn't fail, okay. This barely did not fail. You rolled a nine, plus eight destruction. You start roaring like a mountain bear. I didn't want to scare it. With all that natural reverb, you sound frightening enough that the salamander flees the cave. But you hear a deep rumbling in the walls and ceiling. The tunnel, oh God, why would you do this? Pyro, please. Oh, you manage to take a flask worth of magic water and escape the cave in one piece. 
The access to the magic pond is now sealed by rubble. Oh, well, at least we got the magic water, but can we, we can't leave? Okay, I guess, mm. All right then. Well, that happened. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so it's, it's a uh, TTRPG inspired, so a lot like D&D, but it's like a tabletop uh, role-playing game. So you get to play as a character. There's still character sheets and stats involved in you going through on like an adventure. And uh, yeah, our turns end in weeks. So like we only have four action points and four move points, and it plays just like you would with like Paper Mario, just as a TTRPG um, styled game. So it's very neat. I enjoy, I'm enjoying it so far. Although there are some twists and turns where I'm just like, oh, I was not expecting this. But that's the fun about like D&D and TTRPGs though. They kind of throw some, some events that you don't expect most of the time. Bring the magic water uh, to Bungus into the Cork Forest, okay. So let's go back to the cork forest and give him the magic water. Hi, friend. Bonjour, my friend. What brings you to our humble forest? I have magic water for you. Take it. You found magic water. Let's try it right away. Bungus pours all the water in one wine cap. Mushroom grows and grows. It's enormous. Take it, friend. It should do the trick. Obtained a wine cap. They're beautiful. Now, because I'm all about causing, wreaking havoc, we could potentially go here and plug up the hole. But also, part of me really wants to go here and show the love letter to Torlene, but that's okay. We'll, we'll do things linearly. I kind of want to stray from the path, but we'll, we'll be on our best behavior. We should go back in here. Because I want to build up my, uh, my strength. Not stray from the path. Fine, we'll do that. Camping in the forest can be challenging for the body. Give me strength. Roll nine and plus nine physique. I should find a good spot to build. Okay. Sweet. All right, so we're one step closer to beating old girl. Because we have at least eight physique. Let me go here. Yeah, stop the geyser, beat the contest. Okay. Yeah, let's go over here and see what uh what, where this leads us. If we were to show it to to them. Not the salamander again. It looks familiar. Oh, not scare it. Lord have mercy. Run for your life. Create a distraction. I, I hate scaring this thing. Do it again. We did it. We did it. It's 20. You rolled a 12 plus 8 destruction. Yep. You hope it never comes back. I feel bad for the creature. Why do we keep scaring the baby? Oh, we can't do any actions here, so I guess we have to end the turn. I should have used my my um, action points wisely because I wasn't sure if we uh, would be able to make it. Today's the big day. Oh, <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to fix it. I got the mushroom. Today's the big day, and the geyser issue has not been solved. But the peace festival is already in full swing. Mulak is already filling up the, with visitors from all over Gatherack who can't wait to party. Some clever baladins decide to pretend the theme of this year's festival is <laughs> so 
breathing water. The results are mixed to say the least. Suddenly the ground starts shaking once again. Water stops pouring out. And oh? And a dark mass emerges from the well. Could it be? A dragon? My kin? Who dares awaken a dragon? Oh, hang on, let me, let me do this correctly. Who dares awaken a dragon? Uh-oh. To what I owe this racket? You think you can wake the mighty Colabra without facing consequences? What is this farce of a banquet you're throwing? Have you forgotten the meaning of the festival? You fools! Without further warning, the dragon's enormous jaw opens wide. Is it gonna eat us? You can feel the wind coming out from out of your bag and your pockets. He ate my stuff! Wait a minute! Ha! Ah, I see you brought something to eat. But it's not enough. I'll have to eat something more substantial. A flash of blue light sparks between the teeth of the beast and the world starts spinning. Did we all die? Looks like Flotsam and Jetsam's cousin. Oh no. My dear Baladins, these last two months of leisure were quite invigorating, but... Wait, I already told you that. No, oh, I remember now. The Peace Festival, the Dragon, the Warp. It seems we've been transported six weeks back in time. Could have been worse, actually. They didn't need us. But I think we should start investigating the situation. I'll summon you when I need your help, dear Baladins. That should have stayed at home. That's the achievement that I got. <laughs> you just completed your first loop. You can continue your adventure now or quit the game and load later um, from this point. That's interesting. Okay, so it's got like a time looping mechanic. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's see what happens if we continue. Oh, and we can change. All right, so do we still want to stick with uh, our pyro character? The cook, dancer, luxomancer, or the bard? It's up to y'all, I'm gonna let y'all choose these names. The bard, all right, let's try the bard. Start the adventure. Well, this, I've summoned you because the situation is dire, to say the least. <clears throat> it appears this blasted dragon has sent us back in the past. And upon investigation, I can confirm that only our guild members remember what happened. I can't explain why, but we need to investigate further. If my calculations are correct, we've six weeks before the dragon returns. Quick, Baladins, forget about the peace festival. We need to warn everybody about the incoming catastrophe. Go to the castle of Holtagod and... Ask for the Great Council. They'll surely know how to help. You have to find a solution. Tell them it's urgent. All right. So our quest this time. I see him. We've discovered some quests too. All right. Let's travel to Hortigard East of the Mudalak and go to the castle. Meet with the council to warn them about the dragon. Is it somewhere over here? I said east. Where's that place? That's the hidden cave. So where? Oh, I guess that's a new region we have to go to. So how do we get to that region? Do we just go in this direction? Am I to assume? No, let's find out. Yes. So that's the mill. 
how do we check the, uh, the map again? There we go. Oh, it even shows you who all is in these areas. Y'all can't see it because I know I'm blocking. Very nice. Okay. Well, we only have enough move points to move over one. So... <clears throat> That's so far. Greasy gutter? Peace square. Oh, they got a little horse! Cute! Alright, got castle. And some birds. Oh, they got a theater. It's over here. They got black sheep. Okay. I'm looking at everything in the map again. Forgive me. Hi, Errol. Welcome in. Oh, your name is Errol Vin, and you're a simp for your friends. Oh, hi. <laughs> I, too, am a simp for my friends. But how's your day, Errol? You stumble upon Pretzies, the local drunkard, sitting on the side of the road. I like how he's in the shape of a barrel and looking like he's had too much in his gullet. They're contemplating a collection of mugs full of ale. Would you care to play, Baladin? I'll, I mean, I just got here. It's called Beer Pomp. Stop. 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 I'm done. I would like to leave. I would like to leave. <laughs> I would like to leave. Let me tell you, going to work while you're sick is a bad idea. Oh, tell me about Errol. I cannot get ish done if I go to work sick. Because the entire time, I'm living in pain. But I hope you feel better. This game looks so cute. It is guaranteed. But welcome in. Uh, is your name guaranteed? I know. I know. I was like trying to read that like legitimately, but I, I'm just like, is this? Is it like a play on guarantee? Because that's very clever. I like that name. <laughs> also, hi, Dio. Welcome in. Oh, green tea. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I missed the mark. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> I tried. Welcome in. This is a game called Baladins. It's a TTRPG inspired game um, where you can play as various characters. So you got like a bard, a dancer. We played as a pyro character earlier. It was just like a cute little fox. Um, a luxomancer. I don't know what that is. And then some other class that they got in this game that I want to explore. But it's cute. It's got that Paper Mario type of feel and vibe to it. Even like the animation wise and storytelling. Um, but it's very, very, very TTRPG based because you get like a character sheet. You can build out like your skill points, skill tree, all that stuff. So it's very cute. I like it. But well, welcome in. You tried the demo for this game, but uh, you didn't know what you was doing. I, I will say because I've played a few, I'm not, I'm not proficient at all when it comes to D&D &D and TTRPG. But if I have participated in quite a few, like, TTRPGs in D&D games. And so, this is just, like, it makes sense. It clicks. I get the theme. I am enjoying this for what it is. And the wacky-ish that happens whenever you leave luck to the roll of the die. Um, <laughs> and it still reminds me of the Dungeons & Dragon game that I played with Happy and Friends. A while back where <laughs> what did I have I think it was crippling paranoia because I got too nosy for my own business and so my character ended up with that for like the duration of the entire day oh but yeah definitely check it out you can do exclamation mark and deal take you to their uh, their steam page where you can add this to your wish list or choose to you know go ahead and pick up this game for yourself Jeffy! Hi! Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa, 
welcome in, Raiders. Hi, if you don't know me, I'm Blazed Midnight, your casual Dragon Queen VTuber here on Twitch. And we are checking out a new game called Baladins, which is a TTRPG-inspired role-playing game. Well, I mean, I already said that because I said TTRPG, but it's a little Paper Mario-like uh, like game. It's very cute, very friendly, very cuddly. Well, hi! How was your stream? Sheppy, where are you playing? We have I saw company. you went live. I, I don't know what you were playing, though. And also, thank you for the follow, Green Tea. I appreciate it. But if you are tired, hungry, and need to take care of some other things, Sheppy and all the raiders that are coming in from Sheppy's channel, please feel free to do so. Your mental and physical health comes first. But if you'd like to stick around and see who I am as a creative and also get to know me and some of the games that I play here on the channel, I do have a nice little Ray video. The song sounds familiar. Is it from Paper Mario? I don't think they have the rights to Paper Mario. I'm pretty sure because this is an indie game. So if anything, it probably was like maybe inspired by some things in the Paper Mario series, which there's tons of games that take inspiration from, you know, pre-existing games. Um, nothing is so unique enough to where it's just like, they're the ones who thought of it first and only. But I'm pretty sure they just kind of like, you know what, we still want to have that kind of vibe. So we'll put together some music for that. So any case, enjoy the raid video. My path is the only path I can take. Yeah, I know it's chosen. There ain't no easy road. I gotta clear it. It's not giving. I'm just living. I'm just living. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Shake it like it's heat. Hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch where you're going. Hold the drive. Let the downside up the top notch. What I'm here to do. I top that. Do it like this. Do it like that. Do it like how it did. But now I do it like what? Feed your artist. Determination like just imagine the things that happen. Except the ass lap. If you go there, please gotta keep asking. Losers terribly empty fat toes. What you don't possess, it's not in stores. I work my ass while you in a bad store. Turning dust to gold, hardcore. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Shake it up the seat, hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch where you go away, hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Shake it up the seat, hold the drive. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through now. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch where you go away, hold the drive. Also, I forgot I didn't do my announcements like I should have earlier today. So we're going to do them now. So those coming in from stream, thank you for giving me Dragon Daddy. Uh, don't forget, we are raising funds for my dear friend, Jeliana867, um, who is working on moving out of their current living situation. Um, it's not favorable, but we're trying to help them uh, get the funds that they need to be able to move out on their own and just uh, deal with, you know, life situations away from a very unfavorable one. But um, she is running a th donathon, so she has her own goals. We actually ended up raising roughly about a little over $300 for Jelly. So I owe you guys a stream for Supermarket Simulator. But we still need a little bit more um, to make sure that she's settled in to her new place. So, um, as an incentive, she still has some goals um, that you can check out on her Ko-Fi page if you click on that link um, to see what those incentives are. But on my end, um, I am raising funds to where if we hit the $500 milestone and the 1K milestone next, we'll get two streams out of me at $500. You'll get a Getting Over It stream. And then at 1K, you will get Hades 1 with crowd control. So, um, the reason that this is a mutual aid is because um, as much as Jelly would like to stream as often as she could for this Donathon event, she physically is not able to do so. And so to help her out, I am working on streaming pretty much every day this week and next week. I won't be able to stream Thursday because my schedule actually ended up getting busy. Um, and next week I should theoretically be able to stream, um, 
every day except for the upcoming Sundays because I will be busy on those days. So, um, while I am live, feel free to do exclamation mark jelly like Savvy's done in chat right there. Uh, J E L I, and it's also in the title if you are confused about the commands. Um, it'll bring up her Ko fi page to where you can contribute. And every dollar will go towards, you know, her dono goals and her moving situation funds, as well as, you know, be counted for the milestone redemptions on my end. The other thing that I have to announce, oh, I forgot there's, that's going to happen because I'm clicking out of the game. But the other thing that I have to announce is I have been nominated for three categories in the Black VTuber Awards. Yes, that is a thing. If you did not know that this was a thing, it is a thing. There are several Black VTubers up for nominations for various categories. So make sure you go and vote. You have until the end of this month to get your vote in if you have not already done so. Um, I was nominated for the Charity Champion Award, the Breakout Talent Award, and the Twitch VTuber Award. So please make sure you put in a vote for me, but not only me, but also my lovely mods of stream, which if you did not know, Savvy Little Minx and MB Prince Salem were nominated for the Guardian Award. So if you would like to vote for them and represent them and also show them some love, please feel free to do so. Again, voting really does matter. It counts, it shows how much support and love that you have for the creatives in the space who identify as black people on the platform and our VTubers because we go out here, we work our asses off, off hard every day and you know, a lot of spaces still don't wanna hear from us. They don't wanna see us. They don't want us represented in any kind of way. So what better way to show love and support than to, you know, vote for us for things that are giving us a platform to speak on and be represented um, helpfully. So any case, back to the game. Let me go ahead and turn this back off and go right back to the game audio. Uh, but yeah, we're playing a nice little cute TTRPG game. And if you're curious about the game, you can do exclamation mark indies and it'll put uh, indie, not an S, sorry. Uh, and it'll pull up the Steam page to where you can check this out yourself or purchase it. And a coin. Oh, what we doing? Oh, I'm weak. Ooh, child. But at least I can finesse some folks. I don't think I can beat him. But, you know, we'll play. Why not? See, see where this goes. Oh, wow. We got lucky. You, you rolled an 11. Plus one physique. You managed to throw a wooden ball in your opponent's mug every time you try. Of course, you are not as drunk as they are, but still, it's remarkable. Grah. It's not so much fun when you lose so much. Take your money and get lost. Gain one gold. Okay. There's somebody else here, right? Jordy! Let's talk to you. Hmm? Someone new. Need help? Yeah, yeah. I'm not alright these days. Could use some time out. Away. Far away. But I can't leave the mill. People need flour. Know what? You go fetch help. Ask Pashina. Uh, not Pashina. <laughs> Pashian at the castle front desk. They will know what to do. I can't leave my mill. Need help? Where are we? Well, that's the mill of the Hortigard. Here I grind the grain for the city. That's all. Oh, and I'm Jordy, by the way. I don't have anything to give you, right? Okay, yeah. Don't worry about that. Need to go back to work. Bye, then. Go enjoy your, your work. Alright, so travel to Hortigard east of Mulek and go to the castle and meet with the council to warn them about the dragon. Okay. So we need to go to the castle. We need to go to the castle for this as well. Good to know. Oh, well, since we're here, let's go ahead and do all these actions to kind of boost our, our stuff. Alright, grind the grain. The sound of the grain under the grinding wheel is music to your ears. You think sometimes crushing things can be a good thing. You gain plus one to destruction and gain plus one gold. We're rich. Make some bread. Hi Fern, welcome in. It's good to see you. 
How are you doing? How's your day treating you? With great flour comes great bread. Watching the loaf rise in the oven is a fulfilling sight. You gain plus one creation. You gain plus one gold. From here, you can hear the millers talk. Have you heard about Hullban gathering their troops? I hope they find a diplomatic solution. Yeah, me too, since our general is dead afraid. Oh, oh, dead afraid. Okay. I need to continue reading that sentence of going to war anyway. The general Bi Biscotterus is scared of about having to fight. Maybe you can find some evidence to confir uh, confirm the rumor. Very cool. So we made some bread. We did all that and gained some stuff. Now bread trivia quiz. Test our knowledge. We challenge Jordy to a bread trivia quiz. Oh, just barely. You rolled a nine, plus two knowledge. He answers all your questions and you answer his. It's a draw. Yeah, cause it was like right there, a tie to the 11th, so. Cool, let's end our turn. We're on to a new week. And let's also double check our list here. Is there something? Oh, the rumors, okay. So there's another quest that we discovered, but we need to go to that castle. All right, so how do we get to the castle? Can we just move here? The castle is so far! The heck? I don't even know if we can get there. Let's see, one, two. Three. We should be able to. Okay. Let's try it. We should be fine. Yeah, okay, so this is exactly what I counted out. Three. You took the long way around. Oh no, you took the right way around. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Do not listen to me. Passion and Grivel. What's going on with Grivel's eyes? What's happening? Good morning. Welcome to the castle. May I help you? Number 346. That's how, how long did we have to wait here? The Miller. Number 346, sorry for professional demands. You need to take a ticket and wait. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Hold up, what do you mean? Here, have one. Wait for me to call your number. The number is on the ticket is 690, what? 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 Oh my lord. Ask the council, just follow the corridor. It's the last door on the left. Counselor Ortiz. Available for public hearings. What in the world? Wandering around the world with a bag full of stuff might affect you in either a good way or a bad way. Most of the items you carry throughout your adventure will have an effect on you by simply being in your bag. When someone gives you something, don't forget to check it. Check out how the item may have affected you. Okay, so it added more knowledge to us. Meet Orti and tell him about Colabra. Oh my lord. You doing the most. Really? You're at the castle, Hortigate Guard. It's the central administration of uh, Gatherak. Here we write the law. Collect taxes, distribute allowances, coordinate the different councils. So what do you need? What do you need, traveler? Ugh. Wait for hours, days, may- uh, Days?! A uh, proper UK line, not this, please, Sheppy, no. Say it ain't so. Number 519. I still got the wait? Wait for hours, days, maybe? What?! 
Oh, 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 okay. Yes, yes. Here, here, here. Take it. Take it. There you go. What do you need? Help for the mill. Hmm, I see. We don't have a substitute miller available. Maybe... Well, I'll send in an engineer there. They will figure out something. Have a nice day, Baladin. Thank you for helping the community. I... So what the... What did... What just happened? I'm not speaking to him no more. May I help you? Be quick. The 30... Uh, third delayed deliberation is about to commence. Tell about, uh, Colabra? Hmm. So you come from the future. It's not unheard of. You have the register. You see, the mages of Looms Lumensack have created a time protocol. They gave us a weird parrot statue that says unpredictable words every hour. And a council member writes them all down in the register. Here's a copy, dated today. Obtain a register. Bring it back to me. In the past, this will be proof that you are from the future. I'll give you a sec- uh, give you the help you need. Okay. You should have seen the line you had to wait in to get your COVID but Oh. It used to be Massive Center in Belfast and the line still went to the car park. Oh my god. Ah. That sounds- Terrible, Sheppy. And luckily, the only time I've had to experience that level of pain was at Dragon Con. Was it last year? It was. It was last year. Because I remember um, that was the day I didn't want to go to Dragon Con because I had just gotten laid off. But then I was just like, I'll hang with my friends. So that way I don't have to think about that. And we sat in that fucking line for an hour and a half just to get into the marketplace. Yeah, yeah. It's that video I showed on stream <laughs> a while back. Sheppy, they had a queue in the street. One whole road was taken up by five lines of people. So it was five rows deep in one road leading up to the marketplace, the Dragon Con. And that wasn't it. That wasn't it because we thought it ended after you got through the five rows. No, you had to go down a road and around the corner of a building and then make a U-turn and come back up <laughs> to where the five queue of people were. By going into like a car, like a parking lot garage and then back out and then back to the building and then back up to where the actual building and entrance was to the marketplace. It was so long. You feel like at that <laughs> certain point they should have limit the line. They should have. What's wild though, Sheppy, is once we got in, the line was short like incredibly short like as soon as we got into the mart they didn't have five rows of people deep in the mart it had dwindled down to like one to two lines and i'm like why is it like this and it's not like we showed up like right when it opened we waited like maybe two or three hours since it's been open and it was just that packed. So I guess like everyone and their mamas decided to take the same liberty and go during that same period of time. But yeah, no, I was I was not a fan of that line. Um, I hope Dragon Con this year ain't ain't the same like it was last year, because that'll have me question if I want to go again. Because if I see that line <laughs> outside the door again, and my friends are just like, "Hey, let's go shop," and I'm gonna be like. I'm going to go find some games to play. And y'all tell me when y'all done doing your figure and whatever shopping that you need to get done here. Because I ain't sitting in this line no more. It's giving you flashbacks to the line at the Vatican. Oh, I can imagine that one being long. Any kind of, like, iconic, like, place for tourists to visit, the line has to be humongous and just appalling to most, like, I just, 
I want to think about that one. <laughs> I want to think about that. I still, to this day, like, the only other line that I... It, truly sorry my friends had to sit in, but I was thankful. I was at home, wrapped up in a blanket. I think watching anime or something with another friend. Um, when they went to a haunted house place that's local to me, and it only opens up, like, you know, during how Halloween hours, like peak Halloween hours. You have to schedule that shit and everything um, in order to get in. Like, you have to reserve, like, a day to go in throughout the month of October. And they sat in that line for roughly about four to six hours, and I was just like, nope, never could be me. Never could be me. I'd go home. <laughs> I, I would go home. I'll get scared watching a movie. I'm not sitting in the line for four hours just to go inside of a haunted house that's going to last for roughly about an hour <laughs> and be like, yippee, this is a great experience. No, it wasn't. Don't lie. A haunted house sounds awesome. I still have never been because I was just like, I refuse. I refuse to sit in the line that long. Not gonna lie, you got in and the line wait was not worth it. Oh, I'm sorry, Sheppy. At least it wasn't cold since it was Georgia, right? Um, it was fall time. So it was probably a little bit draft. It, I wouldn't say it would be like freezing cold, but you they did have like hoodies and stuff on. So, and it was like nighttime. So there was that as well. Oh, yeah, never mind. Four to six hours for a scary house. It's not. It's not. And not to mention, it wasn't that close near to, like, where they were. So I was like, nah, y'all have fun. I'm going to be a bum at your house. Thank you for the follow. But, yeah, I think it's like, what, what do they call it? Netherworld? I think that's the place. I don't know how popular it's been since the pandemic hit, but this was like prior to the pandemic um, being in its peak stature. It was not worth the wait. So it probably has died down since then, maybe, possibly, unless everyone's just like, man, I just really miss Netherworld. We gotta go. I'm just gonna be like, y'all have fun. I, I ain't ever going in that house. I want to try it out, but not if it's going to take that long. So, did you bring the register? You can give it to me, or come back another in another time loop. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 cancel. Can I see what's in this? What is in this? So... Can I just give this to him? Or is he going to be like, no, you ain't do nothing. Orti, he told you about the time protocol. Okay. Oh, on my next time loop. Okay. The council sent the engineer to the mill. Go check on Jordy. This is Jordy. Wait, no, no, no. Jordy is, is, uh at the other place so we can move backwards now that we have some actions we can't move very far because we gotta we gotta make our way all the way back to the mill because i think this is where he's at if i'm not mistaken yeah so let's move here this game style is awesome, right? Do you know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? I sadly have never played a, di a crumb of Yu-Gi-Oh in my life. And I may or may not have never watched the series, only clips of the game, <laughs> of the series. So <laughs> there's that. I know of it, but I was a Pokemon Digimon girly back in ye olden times when Yu-Gi-Oh was popular. So. I was huffing both of them and leaving Yu-Gi-Oh over there to like my friends to huff and sneeze on and consume and be like, yay, I'm glad y'all love Yu-Gi-Oh. 
I'll be over here with Pokemon and Digimon. Y'all have fun. Oh, we can end because we can't do anything else. Have you played the Pokemon card game? I, I'll be honest. Trading card games are not my forte or specialty in any, any realm. I collect them so that way I can either pass them on to my kid or to just sell them when, you know, the time never comes. But outside of that, the only, like, 